Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn about the async components. So, what is this async components? Normally, if you observe in large applications, when we are trying to develop a large applications, so we need to divide the app into a smaller, smaller chunks. So, you people already know about this one in the Angular when we are trying to do the lazy loading. So now, the same like the lazy loading. So we want to load a component whenever the server is needed. So to make this possible, Vue.js has a function that is define async component. So this function is used to load the component dynamically. So whenever it is needed. So that is the main thing. So this define async component load accepts a loader function so which returns a promise. So it takes a callback function or something like that which returns a promise so this promise so you can have the say, resolve callback so then in, when the when this resolve callback is called so you it will be retrieve it will be retrieving the component or otherwise rejection means so it will indicate the load has been failed so that is the main thing so here i will show you the example how we can use this async component so i will try to show you with a simple example here we are having the post component if you see here in our app.view let's open this app.view here in this app.view here we are having the post component so this post component so we need to load it dynamically what i can do here i can create a new variable constant show post so this is the boolean variable i am using a ref of true or otherwise i can make it as a false so this is the ref of false and here i can have a due button sorry due element and the button and here we can use click here or anything so whatever you want you can keep click here and i can have at the rate click dot prevent so there is no need to add the prevent why because as this one is a button it doesn't have any subject or anything so it's a normal button which doesn't consist in a form and prevent and here i can write show post equal to not of show post that's it so this is the variable and i show this this one i am making it is a toggling so this show post variable is toggling and here i can write v iphone if is equal to show post that's it so v iphone if is equal to so post so now here we are using this v iphone now if i try to open when i am using this click here then only it should open so what is happening Show post is equal to not of show post. Okay. So when the show post is there, show post is ref of false. So let's try to run it again. Yeah. And let click here. Yeah. We are able to see this all post component. Now, what I want to tell you is here, if I try to refresh this page, already what will happen? Here the post component will be loaded automatically. Here the post dot view, so which is responsible post dot view, single post category. These all are loaded automatically. Why it is loaded automatically is, but we are not using this one in the template. But these post component are automatically this post component. These all the things are loaded. So this post component, if you, post component, right? So here somewhere you'll be able to see the post component. So post component somewhere it will be there so post components has automatically loaded but we are not using that one so now in order to make this one so what we can do we can use the dynamic async component okay so the post component so here we are using this post component right so this is also a post dot view and this one is also post dot view so we will be having two post dot view two post dot view will be loaded if i now here we are having the two post dot views right this is one is single uh, one is a post component another one is in a, another dummy one which we have uh, added in our previous videos so here without the post component has not been rendered in the ui but still we are loading it automatically now what is my scenario is the requirement of mine is when i click on this button only then only this post component should be loaded that is the thing so then only it needs to go to the server and it needs to get back the data or otherwise it needs to get back the component in order to make this one what we need to do is we need to define this one in a define async component so this should not be imported like this so here you need to have something like uh, 
constant post component equal to define a sync component okay and here i need to import so why because this import will give you the this import will give you will return you the promise so that is the reason so components slash post dot view post slash post dot view this is the thing post component has been loaded now this is the post component and here let's open this one let's refresh this page and here click here i'm clicking on this one so here see now the post component has been loaded so this is how the thing works so now we are loading the component and in this post component we are using the single post component and in this single post component we are using a category component so all the components which are dependent on the post dot view so these all the things are loaded after when i click on this click here button so this is the thing i want to explain you now after the second time this will not be loaded so this is the another thing which i want to tell you so only the first time only it will be loaded so whenever i click on this button so this time post dot view is not loaded and here if i click here so these all the things are loaded and now it needs again the component right so but it has been already loaded in the browser so it will not call again the server so this is also one of the thing okay this is all about the define async component so this is what i want to explain you so define async component i already told you it returns a component it returns a promise so we need to return a promise so there are also uh, so many options are out there in this define async component so i will try to tell you those advanced options so this is the basic thing i will try to i will tell you the advanced options so first it needs to, we need to send the object okay here we need to send the object so this is the post component and first one takes the loader and here you need to add this import okay loader import so this is the loader and this is the import and here we need to have loading component loading component and here we can have something like loading component okay loading component we will be having this loading component L this loading component what it will try to do is so when the component takes time to load the components when it takes time to load the component by the time this loading component will be loaded so here let's create this loading component new file loading component component i am using this template so here i will be having this div so component is loading okay so this is the this is the template i am trying to use it and here in this app.view loading component we have the loading component and i will be having this delay so what is this delay is so for example when this loading component takes little bit of time to load it so by the time this loading component will be loaded right so immediately when this component is loaded so you will be having a flickering effect so in order to don't have this flickering effect effect so this loading component will take minimum 200 milliseconds this loading component to be loaded so this delay before showing the loading component the default is 200 milliseconds if you want to add you can add it more so you also have another options like error component so if you have if anything problem occurs while loading this one so you can send the error component like this you can send it so now <clears throat> this loader is there right so if you want to check this loading component whether this loading component is working or not so we know that this loader returns a promise right here i can have something like so we will return a new promise okay new promise and here what i can do is returns a new promise of and this one takes resolve okay and reject you already know about these all things this returns a promise and here i will do set timeout we'll try to check it set timeout and here i will uh, resolve this one resolve of this import that's it now let's take this will take in one two seconds and below 200 milliseconds if you don't mention the default one is like that only and uh, yeah so hopefully this one works fine so we are returning the promise and this promise will be resolved after two seconds so try to see here let's refresh this page is there any wrong in this one this is the wrong loading component is not defined okay let's import this loading component import loading component component from here component slash 
including component dot view yeah fine here i will be using here i will be using this one click here the component is loading it is taking some time and after two seconds it has been loaded successfully so that is the place where loading component will be useful so now you understood about this loading component so loading component is useful when this component takes some time to be loaded then by the time you can show some loading or retrieving the data or something like that you can show it so this is all about the async components in the Vue.js. hope you understood about this uh, define async function and uh, loading the component dynamically if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you